Hi friends, my name is Borrodante. Let's test design doll. One of the friends recommended me to test design doll a long time ago, but only now I actually got to use it. So this is what this software looks like. This is basically a rig doll, rag doll, for us to pose any way we want and then to capture a screenshot from any angle to have a reference for anatomy. And to check out design doll in action, we're actually gonna use it for a real purpose. In the last episode of Outlandish Curiosity, I had a huge problem with posing Gilbert Ruffelstum, who's kneeling to check out the Hillstrom crab and have a closer look. So Gilbert has a whole bunch of anatomy and geometry problems, and let's try and fix that with Design Doll. Whoa, what are these special effects? Okay, this looks cool, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, okay, I, this was this thing. So these are the modes, this to actually manipulate different parts of the doll, so I just click on them and move them, and there we go, easy peasy. Yeah, this is a free version, this is like a, a, the trial, and I don't know how many models this program has in full version, but in free version we only have this anime kind of girl, so we're gonna be posing her, like I can easily change that afterwards. The main problem is to just figure out how the foreshortening works and how the pose would look naturally in that position and everything. So this trial basically gonna work pretty well for our purposes. Okay, so let's start with capturing screenshot with Gilbert, so we would have the reference for the right camera angle and everything. So there we go. Uh -huh, and here we have materials, maybe we should use some kind of sketch material, do you have that? Probably not. Anyway, let's go with this one for now. And to the left we have an actual camera, like that's where the final screenshot is going to take place. And here we can position the camera properly. Is there a field of view somewhere? Perspective. There we go. Awesome. This is really important to have that right. So the perspective is not exactly strong in our screenshot, in our scene. Okay, so something like this for now. Now let's actually kneel the doll. How responsive are you? Whoa. Oh, oh my. Oh dear. Oh my god. That is freaky. Looks like a Japanese horror movie. It's not exactly like super easy to grab the right body part sometimes, but in general it's kind of fine. Oh cool, I can actually grab like anything, I'm just grabbing the knee, even though it doesn't have any kind of visual controller, and I just do this. This is fun, I should save. This is really easy to use if you worked in ZBrush, so it's really intuitive one might say. Okay, wow, I just had a crash of like everything. I don't know, all the software that was turned on, everything said that there's not enough memory and crashed, including all the recording, so I had to relaunch everything. And more than that, the file that we were saving, we're unable to open it, because if I'll try to do so, it'll say unavailable in trial. So we're gonna have fun! Also, as you can see, I turned off all the fancy effects on the rendering because, I don't know if you noticed, but there was like a tiny glitch, tiny lag of re-rendering when I was moving the model, and I think it was like overloading the graphics card or something, I don't know, it's not very powerful on this tablet. So that might have been the problem, so I decided to tone it down, so let's give it a second go. Okay, can I select all of these? awesome, and I can move it without extra hassle. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Still funny. This looks very graceful. Majestic, one might say. This looks really cool. Having a closer look. Pretty easy to make an expressive pose that actually tells the story. <laughs> What's up with the toes? Are they trying to react to the surface somehow? Wow, they do. 
Cool. Can I actually move them? Like if I zoom in a lot or something? No, they're just automatic somehow. Okay, it's this. Oh, it's just moving the camera to different parts. That's cool. Oh, wow. Awesome. So, these extra buttons in the end, they're for controlling feet and hands. That's cool. Is there more to this? Oh my god! Who's the insane person who came up with this? No, I mean, it's awesome, I guess, if one of the body parts is really close to the camera. It's really important what's the pose of the fingers and everything, so I guess that makes sense. But let's continue with the overall pose. And the angle, too. Okay, I guess something like this. I noticed that in this model, legs are exaggerated, they're too long, and arms are kind of really short comparing to the legs. Well, and obviously the head is really big, so we'll have to keep that in mind when we'll draw over this. I'm really curious what kind of models they have in the full version. Maybe there's like a big library of different models. That might be really cool. There we go, that's way better. <laughs> Release some tension from the spine. Oh my god, it's swimming. Okay, so there's that. We're probably done with this one. I'm a bit anxious because we really have only one chance. <laughs> After I close the program, I won't be able to bring this back. Feels kind of odd, like we see only the spine of the character, and I was trying to make sure that we see the front part of Gilbert's body, which is ridiculous because I literally demolished, completely destroyed the upper part of the leg. It's like there's no leg at all. So this is probably the way it's supposed to go. We shouldn't even see the front part of the torso. Good to know and kind of a shame. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to show a little bit of the front. But I guess it doesn't matter at all, really. We need to show the crabs and the action in general. Yeah, maybe we'll lower camera a bit, so we would see even some face of the Gilbert. It would be cool. There will be a lot of hat covering the face anyway, but I think this is a good angle. Kind of like this. Hmm. So, can I make this screen full screen? Well, I guess we can go this way. So maybe kind of like this, only legs will be a bit shorter, so the spine will be a bit more relaxed. Character won't need to stretch the back like this to reach the ground a little bit. Not too much, of course, the exaggeration is not insane. Yeah, so let's just make a screenshot of this. So there we go, we'll probably go with this angle now. It's cool that we have a grid, this is the way I love to start sketches. So that's gonna be pretty cool to work with next time. Tell me what you think about this curious piece of software. I think it's really good, it's like does exactly that tiny thing everyone needs from time to time and not much else, so it's really cool in that sense. It's quite light and well done. So it's 79 dollars. Well, if it has a bunch of models, it's a good tool for life. It used to be 100, 110. Produce your favorite head-to-body ratios. Wait... Oh my god, we could actually do that! I think so. What is this? Oh my god, that looks so creepy! <laughs> okay, yeah, this... this is good. But what about the size of the head? Oh my god! I wanna try this. Whoa, that is so cool, <laughs> just cool looking. Awesome, it has like morphing, it has the same topology. But can we do the change in the head to body ratio in this trial? No, it seems like it only changes the shape, but doesn't really change. Wow, that's muscly legs. Surprise! <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can change the proportions, or maybe we did change them when we morphed the head, because it kind of looks a bit closer to normal now, but the spine doesn't. 
<laughs> Not ruining the pose at all. Good thing I already saved it to Photoshop. So anyway, there are a bunch of poses and I guess models on the website. Also, we can transform some shapes here and there. And I guess all these modifiers somehow can transform completely. Not 100% positive on the length of the legs and everything. So I'm gonna assume that's available in the full version of the program. Guys, I just found it in the trial as I'm editing this. It's actually available here. If you click this button, you can change any proportions at all. So there's that. So far I can say that it felt really great to work with it. It did what it was supposed to do. I don't know, it's a really useful tool. Like, I would actually use it a lot if I would have money to buy it. <laughs> like, there's not a lot of programs out there that I could actually say that, yeah, I would use it a lot. Like, really, actually use it. This one I would use especially with my moronic ways to mess up the geometry from time to time. This one would really save my arse in the trying times. So yeah, I guess this is it. And I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe, tell a friend, do morning exercises, do whatever you want, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! What if I never close this program? That will work.